did a lot of propaganda, uh, and uh, that has affected their mentality, and, and the whole picture has been distorted about uh, uh, the Islamic Emirate uh, to the people. Uh, so that's why I think there's a uh, fear, but I believe it is irrational, it is not warranted. So, uh, but, you know, uh, because of the troubles they had in past with Taliban in Afghanistan, how do you take that? Uh, not, not only is media's provocation or... I, I think uh, even in, in the years past, in the early years, uh, uh, when the Taliban movement began, uh, it was uh, to bring uh, stability. Afghanistan was in a crisis. It was uh, uh, fiefdoms of warlords that were preying on people. Uh, their, uh, their wealth, their property, their honor was not secured. So when the Taliban movement began, it was specifically to bring stability and security uh, and peace to Afghanistan and to get rid of the, the warlords that were ruling the day. Uh, so even when the Taliban movement began, most people uh, that were here did not have any trouble with the Taliban movement. Uh, the picture that was sent outside was the problem, not what was happening inside Afghanistan. The picture that was uh, fed outside, we did not have social media, we did not have uh, other medias. It was, uh, the media was uh, only a specific few channels uh, so that's why I think even the picture before was, uh, is not the truth of what happened at that time. Uh, has the Taliban really changed? Uh, the Taliban in terms of uh, remaining committed to the constants of Islam, to Islamic principles, has not changed. We, not st changed. we still believe in Islamic principles. We still believe in the establishment of uh, Islamic law uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, in terms of uh, evolution, as in uh, progressing, that is a natural uh, human uh, procedure. Every uh, human being and every government, and uh, uh, they progress and they develop and they evolve, they change uh, their policies, they change their strategies. In terms of uh, uh, principles, we are still committed to Islam and we still believe in the supremacy of Islamic law. In terms of, uh, of our approach, uh, there are uh, differences. What's the change? Uh, we have, we have uh, gained a lot of experiences. We have gained a lot of experiences from our previous rule, and, uh, speci specifically uh, speaking to how to uh, get our message across to the world that we are not as uh, we have been deemed. Even in the previous rule, during the previous rule, uh, there was no uh, restrictions on women going out to work or, or we had pe women in work. Uh, we were not promoting terrorism. Uh, and those are still the same. But unfortunately, uh, the media played a, 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 a role in, in pushing out an image that was not a reflection of the reality in Afghanistan. Where do you learn English? Or what is your study? Uh, I would like to uh, keep that private and not divulge it with, uh, with in the public. Turkey soldiers, you know. Uh, leave Afghanistan yesterday and today. Uh, how will you manage of our relation with Turkey? And what do you think about Turkey also? <clears throat> the Turkish forces, uh, we made our policy very clear uh, in, during multiple announcements and statements that we do not uh, we will not allow any foreign forces to remain in Afghanistan because we believe we can secure our own country. We do not need foreigners to bring security to Afghanistan. Uh, the matter of the fact is that foreigners have contributed to dis, uh, destabilizing Afghanistan and bringing war to this country. So our policy regarding foreign forces is clear. It is uh, that we will not allow any foreign trooper on our soil. As for relationship uh, uh, with Turkey, we... No, before relationship with Turkey, uh, did you see the Turkish force the same the American force? Because the Turkish force is uh, not 
kill any people in Afghanistan? Uh, any foreign forces that were in, in Afghanistan were, were, were the same for us. But the roles they played within the, their own structure, that was up to them. It was not up to us. We uh, did not uh, allow and we will not allow NATO or foreign forces in any capacity to be in Afghanistan. Uh, now, uh, as for, uh, again, for the relations with the, with the country of Turkey, with the people of Turkey, we believe the Turkish people are our Muslim brothers. We share a lot of uh, uh, history, a lot of culture. Uh, we have a lot uh, of things in common, our religion. Uh, we would like uh, to maintain uh, relations uh, with Turkey and the people of Turkey, both diplomatic, economic, and in other spheres, as well as people-to-people -people contact, uh, so we can uh, have a better understanding of one another and move forward, move forward uh, uh, as a country. I think Turkish people is also afraid, and uh, they are see the risk is Taliban's uh, government, or Taliban's regime. I don't know what you say. Tur uh, well, our message has been consistent and it will continue to be uh, that we want good relations, good diplomatic relations, good economic relations, and in every other space uh, that is available, we want good relations with everyone, including Turkey, including the people of Turkey. Uh, uh, we do not want to... Uh, pose a threat or allow anyone to pose a threat from uh, from the soil of Afghanistan uh, to anyone and uh, but at the same time we ask both Turkey and all world countries to to not interfere uh, in the affairs in the internal affairs of Afghanistan and let the Afghans uh, rule and uh, govern the, themselves without any foreign pressure uh, without forcing them to change their culture their heritage and their beliefs. What is the future of airports? I forget this. Uh, did you open this international flight or how? Uh, yes, we, we are uh, hoping and we are optimistic that the airport will remain open it will, and it will remain uh, functional uh, after the 31st of August when, uh, when the United States and foreign forces pull out. We are hoping that it will remain operational. Uh, well, uh, it is our operational at the moment and it will continue all the people that have worked in the, in the airport will continue to provide services uh, and it will uh, continue as it has uh, normally you have people's uh, workers and uh, team operational team uh, we have our own people but at the same time we are not looking to remove people who are currently working in the airport that are operating, uh, uh, controlling the flights in and out and all the other uh, uh, work inside the airport. We're not looking to removing people from their posts. Okay, is there a, a risk of civil war in Afghanistan? Uh, I do not believe there is a, a risk of any civil war in Afghanistan. Uh, because uh, the Afghan people as a whole have decided that uh, they want Islamic law in their country and they welcomed uh, the Islamic Emirate into the cities, into the districts without any fighting, without any, any uh, resistance. Uh, not only did they not uh, resist, but they welcomed the Islamic Emirate into the areas to secure them, to provide security, to provide services. So I do not believe there is any risk of uh, any civil war. Well, there is a, a group uh, that uh, is in Panjshir that have taken uh, government supplies and government hardware and they're uh, promoting or calling for, uh, for resistance, calling for civil war. Uh, we are in contact with them, we are in communication, our communication channels are open uh, and hopefully that matter will also be resolved uh, through dialogue. When you, what do you think about when you finish this problem? Uh, hopefully soon, uh, we do not have a timeline for, for how, because it is a political pr process, it's a, it's a dialogue. There has not been any fighting so far, no. There's been limited fighting when, the, when, the, when they attacked our positions, uh, but now at the moment there is no fighting.
Okay, uh, everyone is wondering about the plight of women in Afghanistan, you know. Uh, and some women are in fear in the streets. Uh, I talked with someone. Uh, what will change in their lives during the Taliban area in Afghanistan for women and for children? Uh, again, uh, I have to say that uh, there has been a lot of propaganda in this regard. We uh, in the Islamic Emirate has not limited uh, the freedoms, the rights that have been afforded to women, men, children, uh, all that has been uh, given to them by Islam has been uh, provided by the Islamic. There has not been uh, any limitations on their movements. The Islamic uh, law gives them the right to education, the right to work, uh, and every other right that, that any human being has, any human right, it is all enshrined in Islamic law. However, there are some bounds in Islam that uh, we cannot cross. For example, hijab is a, is a major issue. Uh, so there's not uh, much else. No and uh, Yes, of course, uh, uh, even, yes, they can work. They have their right to work. They have their right to education. They have their right to health. Uh, there is no, uh, uh, no issues in, in, in that regard. In press conference, uh, Mr. Zabulam Jad, Mr. Zabulam Jad said, uh, now they cannot work because uh, in the ministries. Yes, that okay. that was a uh, that was a, a statement uh, regarding the current condition, the what is prevalent at the moment, is uh, we have not secured, we have not uh, uh, stabilized the security situation, and uh, it is uh, the the women are are not are being asked, are being urged uh, to stay home currently uh, until we figure out uh, all the procedures of uh, them coming to work and not being harmed in the way while they travel to and forth from their home. The Sharia is very important for Taliban. Yeah, it's like uh, the women, uh, they work the manager in the Minister, is this possible? possible? Yes, again, I said uh, every right that Islam has given to women will be afforded to them. Islam has given this for a woman? Yes, Islam has given a woman, yeah. has given them right to work. They can work, manager, or they can work? Yes, of course, uh, any right that Islam, any, any right that Islam has, has given Did to them. Do you see any woman deputy minister or minister of government Taliban? Well, that is an issue uh, for the future government to decide who will post, who will be posted where, who will be given what duties. Uh, that is the work of the future government. I is cannot, uh, perhaps, perhaps it is possible, yes. You want to were imprisoned in Guantanamo rulers before. Why? Some imprisonment in Guantanamo now they are working in the government of Taliban. They were not, as the United States said, they were not terrorists. They were taken to a, a notorious prison in Guantanamo where they were tortured, where they were humiliated. Uh, I think that was wrong from the very beginning. And uh, they are uh, currently working uh, within uh, our capacities, their own capacities in, in the government. So uh, there is, a, I don't think there should be any issue. There is, whether they've been to Guantanamo or they haven't been to Guantanamo, that should not be uh, a standard by which we judge who should be an official and who should not be an official. Uh, I think you want good relation with China and Russia and Pakistan and Iran and Turkey and, I, and America? Yes, also. yes, we want good How relations. <laughs> we do this. It's very, very uh, we we uh, want good relations with all world countries, not just specific. Uh, every country where we have with uh, America and with China also. Uh, yes, with all countries where we have common ground, we we want to work with them, with every single country How of the world. Well, again, I said uh, if we have common interests, all of us can work towards that goal. Okay, the last question: uh, Will you declare a national holiday on 31 August? After 31 hours, after everyone leaves in Afghanistan. Oh, I'm not sure. I cannot comment on that at the moment. It's uh, it's not an issue that I'm aware of whether it will be labeled uh, a national holiday or, or a national or day. day. Yes, I'm not aware of uh, anything. Perhaps, perhaps not.
Tabii ya. Ucuza bilet. Erken de planlasan, son dakikaya da kalsan ucuza bilet ucuza bilet.com'da. Hocam son zamanlarda biraz kilo aldım galiba. Şu cekete bile daha yeni o kadar para verdim. Önünü kapatmakta zorlanıyorum. Merak etmeyin. Fazlalıklardan kurtulmak çok kolay. <gülüyor>